For humans and animals alike, be careful out on the roads. A state of emergency has been declared for Ontario's turtles. Weather conditions have been ideal for the small animals to move around this year, which means many of them are finding themselves in dangerous situations on the street. So now, the province's Turtle Trauma Centre already over capacity. We meet up with Sue Carstairs, the centre's executive and medical director, to see how Canadians all across the country can help. the Ontario Turtle Conservation Centre and we're home of the Kawartha Turtle Trauma Centre. So the hub is the hospital and we take in injured and ill native Ontario turtles. So far we've had almost 700 admissions. It's very, very high in numbers this year of admissions. So we almost 700, I think we're at 691 as of today. We expect to probably reach far more than that by the end of the season. Normally we're at about half of that. Weather patterns have been ideal for them to move. They don't like to move when it's too hot or too cold. Last year with the drought and the heat, they weren't moving as much. Now they're all moving en masse, huge numbers. You can't go more than a kilometer and a half in southern Ontario without running into a road, so they're bound to hit a road as they're moving. But 90% of the ones we see um, through the hospital are vehicle injuries. Currently I do all the surgeries, yeah. The turtles are unique in that they do have this protective shell, so they survive injuries that no other species would. They're also very, very good at healing, but some of the fractures can be really dramatic, like multiple pieces, you can see right in, insides, and they're still walking, they're still going. So what we do is under anesthetic, put the pieces back together, essentially. Prognosis is good for her to go on to full recovery. What we're hoping to see in response to a state of emergency is just, first of all, more awareness, um, more uh, resources put into it, but more in the long term, the eco passages are obviously the gold standard to prevent this. We can do a lot with education for sure and a lot with awareness, and that's what we're doing with a lot of our media. But the bottom line is to solve the problem. It takes up to 20 years for them to become sexually mature. There's no reproduction until that time. So the only way that they can even have a hope of replacing themselves in the population is by living a long, long time. They've now determined that in snapping turtles, for instance, it takes 59 years to replace themselves in the population, or 1,500 eggs. So a lot of those turtles that come into the hospital are carrying eggs. So rather than you know let them go to waste, we collect them, incubate them, and then hatch them and release the babies. So we have about 2,000 eggs incubating right now. The other side to that is we're following a group of them in the wild. They're very, very overcrowded right now. If you find a turtle, an injured turtle, anywhere in Ontario, you call us. We have about 35 first response centers also throughout Ontario. And here I know we are having an impact. I can tell you for sure that what we do here makes a difference. So if you want to find out more about how you can help Ontario's turtles, please visit our website at yourmorning.ca.